morning hello and welcome if you've just joined our channel we've got a few new subscribers then i do a video every single day about life on a beef and arable farm so um yeah let's see what we get up to today so i have just jumped in our 6130 john deere let's put some lights on boom so it's usually andy on here but i've just got here a little bit earlier than him so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start strawing and then as soon as he turns up we'll let him take over it's not because andy's late because andy is literally never late it's just that i'm early so i thought right we're going to do the path while we're uh, while we're here so if people watch yesterday's video this is the path this is where we were mucking out yesterday so we like to give them lots of straw and as you can see it's all quite nice actually still um, but we're going to put another layer on top and he's here now <laughs> it's come to take over do you want it up a bit so I've left Andy to um, continue straw blowing, but he does need some more straw. So I'm gonna jump on our nine meter here with the straw grab on. Um, will it start? I'm pretty sure it will, cause it's a nice warm day today, but we have been having issues when it's, uh, when it's been cold. See how she goes. There we go, she's up and running. So I'm just taking some bales around for Andy. Yes, I shouldn't have the boom this high up in the air right now. But I'm just needing to see Andy around the corner. I could reverse all the way, but it's a long way that we're fetching these bales from. So I'll get these set out for him, keep him happy. So he's uh, got plenty to do. Got my Andy just. So I just said to Andy, I'm like, why, why do you always have your lights on in the morning? Because you can just put the work lights on. Um, it's like a button to press just for the work lights rather than them. And it's because he likes the screen dimmed in the cab, right? So um, he used to just turn the brightness down on the cab in display. And everyone used to go, Andy, why are you doing that? We can't see what we're doing. So he puts his lights on now. We're just blowing straw in to the outside pen. And this guy's like, I'm not moving. Whatever you do, I'm not moving. No, we can't see the, uh, the machine working. The vehicle's coming in straw. But... Now Andy's just changing the spout round to the other side. And he'll blow a bit of straw in here. That's the great thing about the Teagle. You just point where you want it. Andy's just finished off in there. He was just having a bit of a nightmare there. Just letting my dad in here now with the TM. So we feed out of this auger bucket into the troughs. He'll make his way steadily down there. Two troughs in this pen. Come on then. Some friendly cows, haven't we? Oh, you're throwing your head a little bit now. Let's have a look at this. Let's scratch your chin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Trials, 
shift these out of the way so we can get back to the gate over there. In this pen here, Andy will blow a bale of straw inside, then he'll blow a bale of straw outside to keep these dry. As you can see, we've got a lot of straw. We bale our own straw and um, the majority of it comes from local arable farmers which we swap muck for straw with um, and we do buy a little bit as well. But yeah, swapping it is great because we're giving them something that they want, the fertiliser, the muck, um, the organic matter and we're getting something that we want in return which is the bedding for the cow. And uh, works well, everybody's happy and that's the way we like it. Andy's about done in here and then I've got to let my dad in with the spreader bell. It's coffee time. It looks like my mum's been buying a new kettle. I don't think there's all wrong with that one. She's got a new one. That um, annoys me, that kind of thing. Me and Andy are just clipping these guys now, getting the muck off. That's better. Idiot cow that's got stuck, so we're gonna have to try and lift its legs up at the back with the bucket. Play it out. Uh, so I just lifted the bucket up under his feet and then he managed to jump over. He's got a bit wound up in the yard. Decided to jump. Me and Andy now are just treating some that have got bad feet. Do we your well is now? Uh, they're rubbish for grip, aren't they? <laughs> so I said about putting a bit of glue on the bottom and standing in some sand or something, get some grip. <laughs> well, I have had no issues with the grip in my uh, British Rubber Company well is, Andy. No. But it's full of grip, innit? These posh farmers, they obviously don't do no work, do they? <laughs> See over there, Andy. He's uh, over Andy. Got a pair sent through post to him. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Ollie's working. Ollie's Andy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Business. Hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> so I've just had my dinner now. Uh, Andy is up here doing a mix, but I wanted to just show you these gilets. So I'm just going to get Andy to film it. Asking him to film me. He's laughing at me. He's laughing his head off. <laughs> yeah. Right, so these are the new key layers. We've got it in green and brown, and there's also a black and brown. Um, and what I want to do is, I want to pre-order them. Basically, so I've not got to have loads of money like laid out in these, but what I'll do is I'll knock 20% off the price of the gilets. And then that means if you want in like a weird size, like a really large one or a really small one, you can get them booked in. And then um, I'll just get a few like normal sizes, like larges or whatever in after that, but you won't save the 20%. So check it out on uh, the website tonight because I'm going to get some pictures of it. Business. If I said, but 15th of January is when I'm going to place the order. So uh, up to the 15th of January, you'll get the 20% off. Uh, after that, it'll just be normal price, unless in the future we decide to do another pre-order business kind of thing. Um, have I got anything else to say? No, I don't think so. Yeah, check it out, joeseals.com. Business. I'll probably wear one of these to Lamma as well, if anybody wants to have a look at them um, before. Yeah, you'll still have time to get it before, because Lamma's like next week, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Business, cheers, guys. So we're just having a quick look around these guys. See if we've got any uh, that we need. We've got a clean tractor in the yard. Should have done my G-Lay thing in front of that. Hey, maybe that's the new tractor, 6155R. Bought a new trailer as well. What do you reckon? Guess it's not, it's not, it's not. <laughs> we're just looking around in this pen that we mucked out yesterday. See what we can find. Did you reckon the old seven fives have a different colour scheme to the to the newer ones? Looks it looks a bit brighter. Our wheels look a bit dull. Beast. And he's on it now. Doing a mix down there. Ready for this evening. Just gonna put this laptop away. Put it nice and safe inside. So me and Andy are out and about now, uh, feeding around, just getting everything done. Um, Andy's let me in all the gates and he's just going to start a mix. It's still dark at this time isn't it, what are we on, half past four. It'd be nice when, uh, when these lighter days come. Do, 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 feeding down the troughs. 
in the dark. 100, it's not so easy. Everybody's getting up in this pen, coming to have a bit of something to eat, which is good. I like that. Jumped on Andy's 130 now. Just get this pulled into a shed. We've got a few little bits left to do here. But um, I'm gonna pull this in here. So it's one less job to do at the end of the day. Maybe we could do with some uh, LED lights on this 9 meter. They are good, but they're not. They're not LED. tipped in and then we'll leave it until the morning to do the rest of the mix just weighing it in accurately now that's why he's putting a bit in at a time the roar of the 7530 So I've just fetched the 7530 in, we'll just park this up here. He's probably thinking, why is Joe parked the 7530 there, right at the front? <laughs> but it's because we've got light here, Andy. For one reason, there's only one light working in this shed at the minute. I don't know, the bulb must have gone in the other one. Maybe it's time to change the shed lights to LED. That'd be a good idea. Yeah, it's time to do mixer mentions in support of Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Today we've got Colin Burkle, who's 63. Now that's from your wife, Jill. I'm hoping you have a great, great birthday. And then, and then, the second person is somebody that I know personally. Um, John Cowgill. Uh, a few of you that watch this will know him. He is, we couldn't believe it, me and Andy. We could not believe it, could we, Andy? He's 60 today. He's not 60. He's definitely not. He's, he's, he's pulling your leg. He's pulling your leg. <laughs> We reckon oh, 70. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so John, John Calgary, we work quite closely together. Share sometimes his machinery. Um, I think, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's always there on the end of the phone for some advice because he's old and he's wise. That's <laughs> what I want to say. But yeah, uh, happy birthday to John as well. So thanks very much for donating to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. Me and Andy are going to call it a day. We're going we're gonna to finish early today, aren't yeah. we, Andy? It's going to be pre On five time. o'clock. Oh, is it five o'clock? No, be be somewhere there, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just when I looked back at the video earlier that you did of me, you know, in the gilet. Yeah. I said, I said weird sizes. What I meant was um, unpopular sizes. Before somebody okay. pulls me up on it, because <laughs> we can't redo it because it's in the dark. So apologies, apologies for that. Before somebody pulls me up on it. Um, but yeah, get that out on the, it's on joeseals.com. Me, Andy, M, all team in tomorrow. And um, yeah, remember, we're going to Lama next week. Andy's going to be there on Tuesday all day, pretty much. Yeah, well, you're going to feed up, I think, yeah. aren't you, first? But like, and then I'm going to come down a little bit later, possibly, because I've got some other jobs to do. But um, I'll also be there on Wednesday as well with Charlotte Ashley and maybe even Mr. B, Yorkshire Farmer. So um, yeah, be good to see some people down there if you're going down there. Thanks for watching, guys. We're going to go. Yeah. Business. I mean, what he's doing this evening. He's going for a five mile walk, him and Karen, to the range. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if you want to buy something like a big light? I'll carry it <laughs> And you went over there and you had. What did you do? Go to McDonald's? McDonald's for a coffee. Yeah. Is this a health kick thing or just like a. Yeah. Out, to do. Right? Yeah. I suppose it gets out of the house, TV's isn't it? Boring, isn't it? Yeah, maybe, maybe do that if you you know if you just feel like doing something different, just go for a walk yeah. to Range or have, McDonald's. It doesn't have to be a scenic walk, does it? Yeah, 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 I suppose. You just you talk about your surroundings as you walk, yeah, I suppose. Some nice houses that we didn't know were there, some different streets, that. Yeah? Yeah. It's not all council estates around here. <laughs> well, it's not all with council no, estates, that's where I grew up.
But um, yeah, no. Um, yeah, that's it. Andy's off on his walk. I'm I'm not going on my walk. I'm going to edit this video and then I have some tea, have a shower, and go to bed because yeah, need to go to bed earlier, Andy. Yeah, yeah. Right. See you later. Bye.